Hey guys, what is going on? I am so happy to bring you guys this video. I never thought this video would be possible anytime soon. Uh, about a month ago, I got, a, I got an email. I thought it was spam. I was about to delete it, but thank God I didn't because it was because of that email that I got this thing in today. So let's take a look at the box outside. You got the Team Pixel logo and the, the phone outline over here. Hashtag Team Pixel, Google, Google, Team Pixel, and then pretty much the same thing that just goes around. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside this box. So here we have, guys, the Pixel 3a and the fabric case uh, for the Pixel 3a as well. Let's put that to the side and see what else we got. I guess we, we pretty much have like a little congratulations letter. Google Pixel 3a is finally here and we'd like you to be among the first to have one. Cheers, your friends at Google. That is so awesome. That is, that's, that's insane. And then here we got a little uh, advertisement for Google Fi. And then we got the pop sockets, which has the Team Pixel logo on it as well. So if you guys don't know, this goes on the back of your phone with this little sticker here. You can put your fingers here and actually use your phone one-handed a lot easier. But since this is the Pixel 3 and not the 3, or the 3A and not the 3A XL, uh, I may not even need this, but we'll see. And then, what is this? Is this a shirt? Nope. It. Oh, that's a, that's pretty cool. It's a it's a it's a Google bag. So it has like a little, it's a Google bag. One side is the Google logo. The other side says Team Pixel on it. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Don't know how or when I would use this, but I mean it's nice. That's for sure. So let's, let's set that to the side guys and look at what most of us came here to look at. So let's go ahead and open up the case first. A little piece of tape on the bottom. And it just slides out. I'll be honest with you guys, I have never owned a fabric case and I totally regret never getting a fabric case because this feels like it feels like jeans pretty much it feels like like shorts or jeans super good feeling you guys could probably hear that in the microphone hang on so yeah it's pretty much like jeans and a nice little uh like almost uh like velvet like alcantara type on the inside super nice but now Let's do the phone. So this is the new um, bottom of the phone, Team Pixel. Before it just had random colors, I think like blue, yellow, um, maybe you think orange, and it said hashtag Team Pixel, but this is like a more traditional, I guess. Like you actually see the phone, you know, in places around the house, I assume. And it got these two little pull tabs. So let's open this up. All right, so the moment that I have been waiting for ever since I got that spam email, <laughs> which happened to be from Google. Um, I've been waiting about two months. Well, no, not two months. I think about a month and a half, I want to say. It's here now. And let's take a look at it. First, uh, kind of first uh, thoughts and opinions over here is that this is still plastic. Um, but it feels good. It doesn't feel like that entirely light to the point where it feels cheap, at least in my opinion. I mean, if I take my um, S10 Plus, the, the weight difference is there, but it's not as dramatic as I personally thought it would be. So let's go ahead and remove it. And guys, here you go. You got the volume. I, I, I got to get used to this, by the way. The volume rocker and the power button are all on one side. I really got to get used to that. 
Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you guys didn't see it by now, this is the new purple-ish color. I actually kind of dig it. It really kind of does look white. Like right here, as you guys can see, it looks white. But right here, purple-ish. So white, purple-ish. White, <laughs> purple-ish. So that's actually pretty cool. Nice little, uh, nice little touch. You still got that two-toned... Uh, like look to it but this whole entire thing is plastic so as you guys can see there is no uh, ridges between the metal or uh, between the metal and the uh, the glass of the previous phone this is all like one unibody shaped plastic that goes all the way around the phone so some would actually say that this looks a little cleaner so let's power it on and see what we have I hope it comes charged oh my god yes <laughs> Let me put it in this case, just to have it. Yeah, this case is definitely insane. I'm loving it. So while we wait for that, let's go ahead and take a look at what else is uh, in the box. Cause I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I got too excited. So you got your SIM ejector tool, the Pixel, uh, the Pixel user guide. You got the hashtag Team Pixel stickers and uh, some more stuff that I will never read in my life. Let me know in the comment section below if you actually do read that. But uh, I, I will need this though to transfer from my uh, um, S10 Plus to this uh, Pixel right here. So let me put that off to the side. You got finally, take a look at this, dual sided USB-C. Dual sided. This is even better than what Samsung has because Samsung has USB A or like the standard USB to USB C, but this is dual sided USB C. This is perfect. I'm, I'm definitely loving this a lot more than having USB C on one side and USB A uh, or the standard USB on the other side. And then you got your uh, transfer cable over here, or not transfer cable, but transfer adapter from phone to phone. Um, I may actually use that. But many people don't know this can actually be used for external storage as well. And then you got your 18 watt fast charger. So this is actually, again, still faster than what Samsung offers at the moment. Samsung offers 15 watts and uh, the Pixel right here, 18 watts. So uh, that's pretty good. But Samsung, I think, will release an update soon to allow 25 watt. Um, but this out of the box is still faster than what Samsung has out of the box for the S10 Plus. As you guys saw, no headphones came in the box because this is the budget model. But guess what? You got the headphone jack. Yes, that is 100% that is correct. You are back to your headphone jack. So that's why they probably did not include a headphones because more than likely, almost everyone nowadays has a pair of headphones laying around the house. So it just says, hi there. Let me go ahead and get this thing uh, started real quick guys and i will be right back all right guys the phone is now all set up that fingerprint scanner is ridiculously fast jesus um <laughs> that's definitely pretty cool so it did copy everything over from my previous phone right now i'm just waiting for all the uh for all the applications to be downloaded um but so far i kind of gotta i, I kind of have to get used to the um to the uh operating system because i've never owned any other Android except my S10 Plus. So um, I don't know how to use this phone, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna learn for sure. Um, and then once I do that, guys, I'm gonna do a one week review and then a one month review. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. I will be doing uh, comparisons against this phone right here, the S10 Plus. I will be doing comparisons um, as far as camera goes, and uh, just overall, you know, I mean, there's almost a thousand dollars difference between these two phones. This is the ceramic black. So this is 1250. Uh, this is 399. So it's, it's definitely an, uh, it's going to be a very interesting um, video with the comparisons. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to uh, subscribe, be sure to like the video to let me know that you're down with that idea. Uh, but so far, guys, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. Let me just uh, kind of go on through my day. I'm going to enjoy this purple-ish with a neon power button phone. 
And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I will be doing updates on there uh, way more often because, you know, it's Twitter. And uh, I will be doing uh, some photo comparisons with, you know, um, as a, you know, comparing to the S10 Plus, some photo comparisons uh, today. And um, overall, just telling you how, you know, how I feel about the phone. So if you guys are interested in that, please be sure to follow my Twitter and my Instagram as well. But guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for enjoying. Thank you so much, Google, for sending this to me. Um, I I love it. I mean, I don't see any problem with it, to be honest. I, it's plastic, yeah, but think about it. If you drop it, it's not gonna crack. I'd rather have something that's you know more durable. So uh, there's no official IP rating on this, but you guys have to remember, it costs money to, uh, to get that certification. So maybe this phone really is, you know, slightly uh, water resistant, but Google just didn't wanna pay for the certification to keep the price down. Because I know many iPhones, before the official IP rating iPhones, uh, even the iPhones before that were still water resistant to a certain point, so. Uh, but I'm not gonna test it out, <laughs> and I don't think you guys should as well. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on here on the comment section below, as well as check the links in the description for nice little goodies there. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, take care.